the carbon cycle. Billions of years ago, our once lifeless planet was bombarded with a series of meteorites from outer space containing one of the most important building blocks of life, carbon. A, bi a billion years ago, the Earth was attacked with an important element of life, carbon. It is involved in the three elements of the Earth, water, land and the atmosphere. The carbon cycle. Animals breathe out carbon dioxide, which is then inhaled by trees or let out into the atmosphere. This is called respiration. When the trees are cut down, the carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere, under the ground, or into the water. Then the fish inhales the carbon, and when they die, the carbon goes into the sediments under the sea to fossil fuels, which we then burn for factories, transportation, and electricity in our homes. This process is called combustion. The carbon that comes out when burning fossil fuel for factories and transportation goes directly to the atmosphere. Another process involved in the carbon cycle is photosynthesis. Aquatic plant life absorbs carbon through photosynthesis, fish and other marine life through consumption, which is then returned to the water and air through respiration. When these organisms die, Carbon is decomposed and transferred to the ocean floor through a process called sedimentation. Similarly, terrestrial plants remove carbon from the atmosphere through photosynthesis, where they store and use it for growth, as do animals by means of consumption. This carbon is then released back into the atmosphere through respiration, or eventually decomposition, in which over time become fossil fuels. Photosynthesis is how plants eat. They use this process to make food. Plants are able to do this as long as they have three things, carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. Inside plants, they have chloroplasts, which makes carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight turn into starch and oxygen. Then the oxygen is breathed out into the atmosphere, which we inhale. We exhale carbon dioxide and the plants inhale them to repeat the process of photosynthesis. The last process is decomposition. Trees dies and eventually falls down. Microorganisms or decomposers such as bacteria, fungi, and worms eat the dead tree. The leftovers from microorganisms goes directly into the soil. Then it is taken by living plants to help them grow. Carbon is a major greenhouse gas, so too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can lead to global warming. All these processes make up the carbon cycle. Thank you for watching.